the right, okay? Yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Sheetal Burar and I'm going to present my project today about uh, improving uh, diversity in recommended systems using variational autoencoders. This project was conducted in collaboration with Bull.com and Eindhoven University of Technology under the supervision of Professor Mikola Pechnarski, Ms. Hilde Gritz, and Mr. Binyam Jebri from Bull.com. The research problem that we wanted to focus on was to improve user and item level diversity in recommender systems by making changes at the user representation level while maintaining an adequate level of relevance. To understand, the, uh, to understand this statement better, let's first look at why is diversity important in recommender systems? Recommender systems are a multi-stakeholder environment that affect users, vendors, and the platform. High diversity has been linked to higher user satisfaction. A qualitative study that was conducted with Bold.com users reveals uh, the following issues. One was, why are the items in the recommendation list so similar to each other? Second was, I bought this once. Why is the same thing recommended to me every time I visit? From the platform's perspective, recommending diverse items is linked to higher sales. And from the vendor's perspective, higher item diversity provides less popular vendors more opportunities since, it's, uh, since it reduces popularity bias. The existing techniques of improving diversity in recommender systems can be divided into post-processing and algorithmic techniques. The advantage of post-processing techniques is that it, it's independent of the algorithm uh, used to generate the recommendation list and hence can be applied to any algorithm. The con is that um, if the prediction made by the algorithm was already not very diverse, then the final list that we will get after applying post-processing will also lack diversity. The advantage of algorithmic techniques is the diversification of the part of the recommendation generation. The disadvantage is that they have a very specific structure uh, or a model, and it cannot be generalized across different methods the way post-processing can be. We have focused on algorithmic techniques in our um, research, and specifically the user generation stage, because that's the first stage where we will be storing information about the user. If at that stage we do not capture enough information about the user, that will lead to poor results despite making changes at later stages. Let's look into the method that we have proposed to improve multi-stakeholder diversity. <clears throat> the intuition behind our uh, method uh, stems from a paper that says that multiple user profiles can better represent a user's interest than a single user profile. Let's try to understand this using an example. Let's say Peter is interested in cat food and programming. Recommend systems depend on what similar users might be interested in. Um, and let's say cat food is more popular. Based on that, his profile leans more towards cat food and both of his interests don't get represented well enough. This paper theoretically proved that uh, multiple user profiles can capture more of the user's interests uh, because each of the profiles can cater to the different interests that the user has. But there are no existing methods to produce multiple user profiles for a single user. That's where uh, variational autoencoders come into the picture. Variational autoencoders learn a distribution over a dense representation of the input. We can sample multiple user representations from the learned, represent, uh, learned distribution to generate multiple user profiles. Uh, VAE loss function has two terms that can balance between relevance and diversity. Reconstruction, uh, reconstruction loss focuses on accuracy and KL divergence focuses on diversity as it tries to make the distribution as close to a Gaussian as possible. This ensures that uh, the standard deviation is, not, is forced to be non-zero, helping the distribution not collapse to a point. Now we will describe our method, method using an example. Uh, let's say we generate a distribution over the user profiles using a variational autoencoder. We will sample multiple profiles from this distribution. Extending the previous example, um, one profile um, says that Peter is interested in cat-related stuff, and the other profile says uh, that Peter is interested in programming books. We are going to generate recommendation uh, candidates from based on both the profiles. And if we wanted to generate um, three... Um, 
three recommendations in uh, the final list. Then we are going to take this uh, candidate set of six items and then select from them the top three most diverse items and rank them based on relevance so that we are not, um, so that we are still focusing on relevance as well. Now let's look at um, why we think our method can help improve diversity for multiple stakeholders. VAEGAP can improve diversity for users in a single session because we use multiple profiles which would better reflect the user's varied interests and select them based on diversity. It can improve um, diversity over time because of the randomness that is introduced in sampling user profiles. And from a vendor's perspective, because a method should produce a relevant yet diverse list, it would capture more niche products leading to uh, more items being recommended from the long tail as well. Now let's look at the experiment that we have conducted to evaluate the method. We will try to answer these three research questions. Can representing users as, a, as multiple vectors sampled from a distribution rather than a single vector improve diversity from user's perspective within a single session over time and from the vendor's perspective while maintaining an acceptable level of accuracy? Um, we have used an open source content data, uh, data set using, uh, called uh, MovieLens and a proprietary e-commerce uh, data set from bold.com to evaluate the differences in data set properties affect the results. Since we wanted to build a recommend, uh, recommend a system that can produce relevant yet diverse recommendations, we have selected the following metrics. To measure relevance, we use NDCG. And to evaluate the three research questions, we use uh, intralist diversity, um, measuring diversity in a single list, um, Temporal interlist diversity, which is a new metric that we have introduced to evaluate whether the recommendations are different over time representationally and aggregate diversity, which is a measure that um, tells us how many of the total items from the item catalog are getting user exposure. And this is to measure diversity from the vendor's perspective. Let's look at temporal interlist diversity. Um, existing measures for temporal diversity do not help us identify whether the items are diverse in terms of the representation or they are just near duplicates because the similarity is a hard match of item IDs. Real world recommender system databases have a lot of near duplicates and it's important to measure temporal diversity representationally. For that reason, we have proposed a new metric. Um, it measures the pairwise distance between the items of two, uh, of two different timestamps, recommendation list L1 and uh, at timestamp zero and recommendation list L2 at timestamp um, T1. Uh, the distance is measured by common distance me uh, measures like cosine similarity. We have selected two baselines to evaluate our method. Uh, vanilla autoencoders to measure whether multiple user profiles are better than a single one. The model will have the same architecture as the um, as VAEGA, other than the latent layer. Um, and beta VAE, um, which is used to measure if our method is better than representing a user using the mean of the learned distribution. Let's see the results. Um, so we can see here that for the movie lens data set, our method improves diversity significantly over all the metrics that we have proposed, while it does lead to a relevance drop of uh, 12 to 25%. We can also look at the results from um, an example. So for this specific user, they were interested in the following movie genres, comedy, drama, action, romance, crime thrillers, um, the baseline recommendations do not capture users' interest towards comedy and romance movies as well as our method does, while all the remaining genres have been captured by both. For the poll.com data set, we uh, observe that our method improves diversity over the van over vanilla uh, autoencoder um, over all the diversity metrics, but um, over aggregate diversity, it is too 2.5% lesser than beta VAE. This diversity increase comes at a cost of 5 to 14% loss in relevance. Let's look at it from uh, example for bold.com as well. This user was interested in the following categories, pet products, lamps, measuring equipments, and health. Um, baseline recommendation did not capture users' interest towards measuring equipment, while our method did, and the remaining uh, categories were captured by both. We have empirically shown that by representing users via distribution 
rather than a point estimate can improve both item and user level diversity which has the potential to benefit users platforms and vendors our method results in 2300 more categories recommended to bold from users and 1500 more movies recommended to movie lens users the decrease in aggregate diversity over beta vae for bold.com dataset could be because of the emphasis on individual diversity in the final post processing step of our method um it could be useful to consider both customer and vendor perspective for post processing the decrease in relevance seems to be dependent on the dataset properties because the um, exact percentage differs uh, this uh, these properties could be for example sparsity Uh, and it could also motivate a need for a smooth relevance matrix because the relevance matrix that we have currently are also um, checking relevance based on exact item ids um future work again a soft uh, ndcg metric can be developed um to evaluate whether a more diverse list can capture relevant items that may be similar to user's pre preference rather than a, rather than an exact match Uh, we have also only sampled user vectors from a gaussian distribution based on our method other types of distribution such as discrete distributions from vq uh, vae can be used to generate very distinct user profiles evaluation methods um, uh, metrics uh, interlist diversity and temporal interlist diversity depend on pretrained text models these models could have biases it might be interesting to study how these results differ with different item embeddings um diversity measures that we chose to not explicitly explore at which level the diversity improves it may be interesting to study if the diversity improves at uh, individual item item level or category level um thank you for your uh, time um that's the end of the presentation i'd love to take any questions sir